Hey everybody, it's Kelly Price and you have it locked in the best place for lifestyle, fashion, facts, figures, celebrities, entertainment, Madame Noir, baby, keep it right here. What should the fans expect from Sing, Pray, Love? Sing, Pray, Love is a collection of music that is the reflection of a woman who has, who is all grown up. The songs just kind of wrote themselves, so it's a, it's a good feeling up. And I'm still talking about love and all of that stuff and you'll have your ballads, but this is such an up album. When people hear it, I think they'll say, this is everything I love about Kelly, but very different. R&B Divas LA was a very interesting experience and people expressed their displeasure about a lot of what they saw. I wasn't necessarily happy about what I saw with myself either. Um, and I learned a lot, but I'm not really worried about if they're gonna receive the music anymore. I think that if I had to weigh out my entire career, it was one bad moment in a lifetime of what has been great and stellar moments. I've always been very careful about the things that I do, the things that I say, even the music that I sing. I'm still that person. I actually don't regret doing R&B Divas LA. I learned valuable lessons during the show um, and a lot more than um, my bad side was exposed. I learned a lot about people. Um, I learned a lot about this business and I'm glad that I did. It grew me as a person and if you can't take away something from even your bad experiences, then it becomes wasted. And I learned a lot from that experience. The best thing that I learned is that people have always looked to me to be a moral compass in, inside of who I am and what I do and that they always expect more from me for being who I am and knowing me as who they've known me. And so it was a great reminder to not only just watch the things that I do and I say, but I even have to watch the things that I say yes to, particularly if I'm not sure how people plan on presenting me as a person. You know, if I had to, to say what it is that I want people to know about Kelly Price even after the R&B Divas LA experience, is that you knew me before I went on the show. Um, I am the same person who was capable of having an attitude before I did the show. But for me, life is always about resolve and solving an issue. But it's a show. That's, the show is not designed to solve problems. It's designed to suck you in and keep you emotional so you'll keep watching. And you're doing it, so it's working. I just won't be there next season. <laughs> I do speak to some of them some of the time, but I think what people have to also understand is that none of us were best friends walking into the situation. They don't bring people together like that in shows. They want you to come together not really knowing enough about each other so that there is the element of surprise and possibly a clash. Um, but I'm still friendly and, and casual and pl polite and complimentary to all the ladies. Um, one thing I, I will say, and I say it to this day, and I can go all the way backwards to the beginning of the show, throughout the hard times of the show. Mm -hmm. No one has ever heard me disparage any of the ladies in an interview, I'll never do that. Because I feel like if we're gonna have that moment, we should have it in private. That's why I wouldn't do it on camera. I want to live. Honestly, it, there's, there's no magic trick, I wanna live. My weight goes up and down, but at my heaviest, I was 336 pounds. I vowed to myself I would never be that big again. Um, I, I lost, when I was probably my smallest, I lost about 130 pounds, um, but I've maintained a solid 100 pound weight loss and I'm comfortable in my skin. Um, I can move around with ease. I can run up a flight of stairs and I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. Um, I'm energetic. I'm excited about living. My complexion is a lot better because I'm eating healthy and I exercise. And so that's my goal. That's how I do it. Do I, I don't exercise all the time. Sometimes my schedule doesn't allow for me to be able to work out every single day when I'm traveling, but I do it as often as I can. When I'm not working out as much, I'm a lot more careful about what I eat because I've learned my body. I gain weight very quickly. So I have to be careful with that. That's just the, tr that's my, that's my physiological reality. When I think about Whitney and I think about the scrutiny of her life and now her daughter's life that she's not here, um, I think it's really easy for people to watch from the outside look looking in and judge. And yes, a lot of what we see, we don't understand, we might not be able to explain, but it's her life. 
Um, I love Chrissy. Um, our kids, Whitney and my children, were young together. Um, but she is a young woman. She's going through things like a lot of young ladies go through right around that age and that stage in life. She's a young girl who lost her mother. She's an only child. She's working on her relationship with her father. And if that was a kid in your or my neighborhood, we would just say they're having a hard time and we're gonna pray them through it or try to mentor them through it. She's a young woman with that inherited money and had a mother who was a superstar, but she's still a kid. So I, I think that I love her and I wish people would honestly wish her well and not make it a, a point of, of something to talk about.